Hi, Dick Rochford here in this uh, brand new M600 Meridian aircraft. We're on our way into um, Iowa, Washington Uni. And we're been cleared direct to Kilke for the RNAV 3-1 approach. I think we're, uh, uh, could have had the visual. I know we could have had the visual if we had wanted it. But, uh, what we really want to do here is uh, practice the approach. So, we've elected, uh, Kilke, the full approach without the course reversal because of our direction of arrival. The TAA lets us descend uh, below our assigned altitude of 4,000 once we get within 25 miles, which we've done once we're cleared for the approach. So we'll cross Kilke at uh, Four th uh, 3,000, and then uh, if speed and time permits, we'll go to 2,400 to get the uh, glide path. The reason we want to do that is we, we want to cross uh, the, uh, uh, the final approach fix at the minimum altitude at the proper speed and ready for gear and flaps, and we'll use gear and flaps for the slowdown. We do that consistently, it helps us control right, the speed reliably without getting out of order and perhaps missing the gear altogether until it's too late. Now we're 15 miles from Kilke, and uh, when we cross Kilke, we want to do so at... Uh, 3,000. But before we descend below 4,000, we got to get our clearance for the approach. So we're going to work on that here in a minute. The reason I have the split screen on this side is because uh, the chart belongs here, and it needs to be as wide as it can be uh, so that we have access to all parts of it. As soon as we come on over Kilke, we'll have geosynchronous on there. In the meantime, we have the map here. And then, of course, the chart also gives us the vertical and uh, missed approach procedure and the uh, minimums. And we do that with a flick of a button here. All right, so we have approach clearance. We go ahead now, get the flow done. Landing manual, ops is required. Pulse landing light. Flaps not yet. Trims are set. Pressure is in on and set. Backup's alive and well. Tower 3622, maintain 310 knots or greater for the sequence. 310 or better. And all we need to do now is switch the frequency and make the calls to this non-towered airport when we get the, the word. And I'm okay with canceling because the weather's so good today. 200 to go. So consider uh, about 600 pounds now because we're looking for 130. November 3, Sierra Mike Roger, altitude your discretion. And as soon as the altitude uh, captures, which it did, select your next altitude, 2400. 24, can we get direct uh, way And when the, the banner island? flashes, we do the next thing. There you go. Now we can go down. So these are fly-by waypoints, so you can uh, operate those when the, when the banner flashes. Okay, speed's looking good, better. Here comes the turn. Okay, which way? Hello, what's next? Looking for a glide path. It's present, and it's armed. LPV is armed. 
and now we're looking for 130 knots. So the flight path marker is sitting right above the runway as we slow to 130 knots. As we get to 130, consider 600 pounds again. Glides alive. Looking good. Okay, glide path is armed. Gear, nacho flaps. Power, probably 400-ish on a nice smooth day. As soon as the glide path centers up, we expect the path marker to go right to the threshold. There it is. So on a day like today, you could probably hand fly this, couldn't you? Yeah. Nice. Remember, keep those dentrals level. And just squeeze the rudder if you feel like it's sliding off. Remember, too, there's a magenta diamond just above the course needle. The diamond represents your track. And the course needle, of course, with a centered needle represents your course. So if you keep the path marker on the threshold, threshold north, traffic inside, no factors. all that will stay locked up. As it gets a little bumpy, it's a little harder to do, but you're doing a good job. Of course, the glide path is another story. It's all within ATP limits right there. It's doing nice, nice job. Three hundred to go. Okay, so we do have the runway in sight. So go ahead, grab that white arc. Uh, 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 not yet. Got to get the white arc. All right, just raise the nose a tad. Yep. Come back in with power. Aim straight for that threshold now. Don't overfly it. Come on down. Push it down. Yep. We have three green. Runway appears clear. Recommend we continue. Hold the crab to the last minute. And as you can tell, it's going to be a skosh of right rudder. Come on down. Yep. Left thumb on the trim. Power to flight idle. Easy peasy. Japanesey. Oh, right there. Good. Hold it still. There it is. Put that nose down. Nice. Beta back pressure brakes, all three. Yep. Keep that nose up. Wait on the mains. Look at that. They even put hay bales out there for us, just in case. <laughs> nice job. A little crosswind there. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it. 